the numbers are bad. There's no doubt about that. Um, if we look at the revenues, we dropped 17% from 2.2 million to 1.8 billion. And if you take that into account, the economy has been tough. Um, we've lost two uh, pr uh, contracts in 2012 and seeing the effects in 2013. And the large project that Eileen mentioned also contributed 219 million negative to the number. If we look at the earnings per share, specifically headline earnings, that straight off is almost times five. I don't think the fact that we're making a loss comes as a surprise to anybody. Our final results show that we made a year-end loss of 211 million rand. Um, and <clears throat> when you look at that, that is tragic and is a big loss and a big number. But I will also show you that if I take off a number of once-off events, that our turnaround is taking, taking hold. So for the second half uh, of this year, our loss amounted to, from uh, normal operations to 10 million rand, which is a big difference to the first half loss, which was just under 50 million rand. And it's in that way, on the facts of the matter, we can see that our turnaround is taking hold. The second thing I can tell you is that we have driven cost out of the organization. Uh, we've been on a big right-sizing drive, as anybody would in these circumstances. And in terms of the right-sizing drive that has been underway, by this month we will have achieved our board target of 20 million rand per month out of the business. We have just over 2,000 staff now. Um, we've reduced our staff numbers by roughly 850 people. Uh, of the 850 reductions, um, 350 were due to mine RP and the widely reported loss of APSA in the prior financial year, which have been section 17 to APSA. So what we've done in Gajima is we've gone back to the beginning, we've gone to the basics, focused on our core offerings where we have key competencies and we're driving those out successfully. Successful delivery and uh, obtaining and renewing with our clients on that basis. In addition to that, we talk about um, a once-off loss of a large project. And no, we don't have another YO before you start all going there. Uh, we signed a contract a few years ago, and when I joined uh, the company, the chairman asked me to look into the project. And of course, like all large projects, they're complex and time-consuming. What I found is some areas for improvement for us, but in particular, we had a subcontractor that was not performing. <coughs> in fact, of the 160 million rand loss of our losses that are attributable to this large project, 153 million of it is due to a subcontractor that is not performing. So what we have done is we've exercised our step-in rights and we are running the uh, production operation. We have streamlined the operation and we are exceeding our board targets in terms of the running of that operation. And we have filed for liquidation of that subcontractor. We're very confident today, having taken these once-off events out of the system at the end of this year, that our right-sizing, that our turnaround is well underway. We've got cost out, we've got excellent customer retention, we've got a focused drive in term terms of revenue, we are continuing to invest in our core competencies um, such that we retain our accreditation with our suppliers. Um, we think that we as Gajima are on the right track,